Hey guys, today we'll be doing a little pencil code. Today will be basically um, a program that you give it a number and it'll give you um, the day back. So the numbers will be 1 through 7 and if you put 1, they'll give you Sunday, 2 will give you Monday. So here we go. Just a little uh, class exercise just, you know, for you guys to check it out. So I say here, uh, days, let's call it days of the week. Um, here you go, enter a number, enter, oops, sorry, enter a number, and I will give you the day. Okay, <laughs> um, so we're going to await a number. We're actually going to also need a variable to say input. Um, actually, in we actually probably need like something that says you're done. Um, done. Uh, actually, say something like and uh, type 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 uh, and to quit. see here so obviously then if we're gonna keep on um, entering different days we're gonna need a while loop so let's do this while loop here and I guess done done will have to be while done is less than one that will repeat forever so here we go let's see enter a number here you go I see. I guess we'll say it here. Um, so, so now we need if statements. You want to defer the input, uh, the, what they enter input to input, and then you want to say enter number or day. Uh, actually, here you go. Yeah, this is a little easier. <laughs> There we go. Now, if let's say they put if actually you probably need uh, all the days. So day one is a uh, Sunday. Actually, uh, it's case sensitive, so we're just gonna put everything in low case for now. Day two is Monday, and you know what? We'll stop there for the moment because we just want to have you know a couple cases, and if input is day one then you want to say oops let's say one I actually want to say that if input is actually yeah sorry my mistake Let me put it back you definitely want that sorry I'm just my first take I'm just gonna go as you know as you go along you'll see the whole, I guess the thought process um, enter a number. Hmm. Actually, hmm. Actually, entering the the number is not really that fun. Maybe I want to say, you enter the day, and I'll give you the number. So if they put Sunday in, they should say, if input is day one, they want to say, Sunday is day one. The first day of the week. And if they put if input is day two. I wonder if there's a quick way to copy and paste this thing. You can put uh, Monday is B is, is day two, the second day of the week. And I've noticed I 
obviously misspelled J. So, and then I guess for now, uh, we're going to start testing it, but I want to see if they, t oop, sorry, if they put up uh, done. You know what? You're probably going to need another variable for that. So, if done is, you know, yeah, say zero. Exit is, let me see, enter day. Oh, they have the type end, so I'm going to have to put end. There you go. So, if input is exit then you want to actually change the value here. What's going to happen is this is going to loop forever because until done is uh, until this will loop as long as this is true. If once this is false, it's going to exit the loop and end the game. So, if it ends the game, you can say thanks for playing. So that's a great game, huh? <laughs> um So, anyways, you want to say done is one because once done is one one is not greater than one so this will actually return false and it will actually exit the game let's see if this actually works enter Sunday and enter day I'll give you the number enter the oh yeah so as you can see when you make programs I mean you will test them out and you'll see uh, what works and what doesn't work and enter day and then we're going to remind them use lowercase and there you go and we're going to defer into there enter day I'll give you the number type n to quit days of the week let's see if this works Everything looks like it should be okay. Try that again. Enter day of the week and I'll give you the number. Sunday. Enter a day. <laughs> no. Obviously something is not right. We'll see. Oh, I see why. Initially when I created it, I put await read num. And we're not actually awaiting read num anymore. We're actually going to um, enter day lowercase and defer it into input the other one was read num which reads numbers in this one it actually takes in a string which is what we want <clears throat> so let's see if that works that should work now monday monday is day two the second day of the week enter a day and i'll give you the number sunday Sunday is day one, the first day of the week. Enter a day and I'll give you the number. Uh, what, what is it? Exit? Exit. No, end. End. End to quit. End. Thanks for playing. There you go. Wow. So awesome. Let's see, type a new line. You know what? We should probably type a new line here. Let's see how it looks. Ah, uh, see? It looks a little bit more organized. I like organization. Boom. Sunday... Right here Sunday is day one the first day of the week awesome and there you have it um, I think in class I did um the months but I'm just gonna do the days because there's less days so um so I'm just gonna complete it I mean all I need to do is continue making day two uh, day three Tuesday and again um, all lowercase um, here, day four, Wednesday, uh, oh. day five, almost done, third day, day six, Friday, and of course, last but certainly not least, I'm sure you guys all love the weekend, Saturday. And there you go.
So you go days of the week, input, done. Well, you're not done here because these are just creating the variables. And um, basically, we need an if statement to catch because if you actually see now, if we type in something like when, um, let's say Thursday, nothing. See, there's nothing that comes out because we actually didn't make a case for it inside the while. See, this is a while that repeat forever. And if we type in just junk, it's not going to find it because it's not, it's comparing it, the input, the input here that you give the computer, it compares against these variables. If it doesn't find this, then it, can, it obviously it's not going to enter the if statement and type it out. So, I mean, we made new cases and now we need other ones like if, so if, uh, I would put it here, if input is day three, then I would write uh, Tuesday is day three, the third day of the week. See? And I can easily make the next case. Input day four. And then why not just keep making those input day five input day six and last but not least again input day seven then I go to text and again, for each one of them, write something out. The fifth. And of course, Friday. And finally, <laughs> oh, oh crap. Yes, Saturday is day seven, the seventh day of the week and there you go it should work fine as long as I didn't accidentally make make any mistakes day one day two three four five six seven and yes you'll see eventually code sometimes gets tedious day two second day Tuesday day three third one Wednesday Thursday, Friday. Let me see. Let's see. It should be fine. Thursday. Oops. Thursday. Thursday is the fifth day. Friday. And of course, it has a space because of, of this. It always hit this type line, which creates the space. So it, it it's easier to see as it you know the separation. And basically, there you go. Days of the week. In class, I know we did um, months, but again, I just <laughs> I just did days because there's less of them. It's just a little easier. Obviously, you follow the same pattern. Input captures what they they give you. And day just controls the game loop, the main game loop. And once you're done, no matter you know, no matter what, I mean, here, if, if you know how many times you say it, but if you type end, thanks for playing, it reaches the bottom, and we know it's outside of the while loop. See the while loop here, and basically there you go. That's all the code, so you can always look back on it. This is very simple, um, way to do it, and everything appears to be fine. Obviously, if I made a mistake, just let me know. Um, we can cover it in class. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Bye.